As you might guess, a lot of voicemails. Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, Dave. Great show. Howard from Marin County. They, they just can't say what the real problem is. The real problem is personnel. The team, as it is constituted now, is too old, and they're not good. The people they have on the line are awful. And I, again, blame the people on the top, okay? You know, Mr. Dorsey, the man who put the team together, and they were great, and Stefanski inherited. So how many pro bowlers do we have? You know, say five from five drafts from Mr. Barry. Look at the line from Mr. Barry. Look at all the receivers they've drafted that have gone nowhere. Look at the defensive line draft picks. I mean, it's simple as they probably need to bring back John Dorsey or someone. And basically, they need new bodies, they need new personnel, and you really can't fix this. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Uh, comparing Dorsey and, and Andrew Barry's drafts, John Dorsey was picking in the first round. Right? He, you're going to point to Baker Mayfield. I, I would counter that with you should have taken Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson. Um, Nick Chubb was a good pick. Relative to the wide receivers, they keep taking him in the third round. Uh, those are 25% hit rates. He, he did get Delpit. He did get JOK. So there's been there's been good picks. There's been bad picks too. I I think the roster is pretty good. It's magnified. Everything's magnified because the quarterback play's been been bad and the offensive line play's been bad. They're hurt and, and banged up. Right, right. I I think that there's a world where. We are sitting here at one and four, and people think a total teardown needs to happen. I, I don't think that's the case. I think there's still clearly pretty talented players here. I think that there's a pretty significant argument that they're getting the worst out of them right now, but there's talent here. We've seen these guys win football games, so it's a matter of galvanizing the group to believe that they can win again. I think you would agree with me that when, and this is a touchy subject, but when Joe Flacco arrived, there was something about his general aura and the belief that came with Joe that lifted everybody up to think that yeah. they could win every game in the back end of that schedule. And that sort of um, belief is not happening right now. There's a lot of quit in these guys yeah. and a lot of disbelief that they have the ability to get it done. You cannot tell me that JOK and Zadarius and Grand Delpit and, and Denzel – you know, Miles and a, a lot of other pieces, Jerry, Judy, and Amari Cooper, these guys are, they, they're proven to be NFL-worthy, talented players, but there's something missing. And it's not for me to know because I'm not inside the walls of Berea, but there's something missing. They need to solve whatever that lack of belief, wherever it is coming from, to get guys inspired to play a, a, a more consistent brand of inspired football. That is the difference. They're not playing hard enough or smart enough and some of those things come with the belief that they can win every week. And some of those things come with like, hey, why do we pay NFL coaches? Well, we pay them to get guys to that point, right? And I think that is part of it, too. I can't sit here and be like, well, they don't believe in Deshaun Watson that he can get it done. I don't know that. I don't know them well enough to know whether they know that. But I know that as the quarterback continues to struggle, sort of things start to add up and point in different directions. I, I think that that's pretty obvious. So I think if you can... You know, I, I, this is a kind of a different conversation, but as, as you're looking into the future and we're like, well, this team isn't talented enough. And I, I don't really buy that. I think that there's something that needs to happen to galvanize the group, but you're not that far off. Like, you're not. I, I really don't think you're that far off. If you if you think every time the Browns fail to meet expectations that it needs torn down and rebuilt, then that, that you haven't you don't pay attention to the NFL. You don't. I mean, look at what Jaden Daniels is doing for Washington. Did Washington totally tear everything apart? In the last year, two years? No, they haven't done that, right? And, and there's other turnarounds in the same fabric. So I don't think that you should go into this thinking they need to trade Miles Garrett or get what they can for him or what, whoever else. Like, you don't, that's not the world you need to live in. If they draft a quarterback or sign somebody, or maybe, hell, Jameis gets a chance to do it and it's better. That's all it takes. It, 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 we watched it last year. This group was so beat up last year, so beat up across the board, and yet somehow that group galvanized and won games that maybe they didn't have any business winning because they started to believe. So the job of Kevin and the job of Jim Schwartz is to how do we get these guys back to that? Because that's where they were last year that was so impressive. You're telling me again that this team has gone in 365, less than that, days to being not good enough to win NFL games 
That's not true. That's not true. The, and the personnel and the coaching staff hasn't changed. So what do we got to do to get back there? That's the question. What do we got to do to get back? Does it need a spark from the quarterback change? Does it need a spark in a different play caller? Your job is to figure that out. So do that and get paid for it. Or there are dangerous conversations around the safety uh, at which some of those jobs of important people are going to be retained, right? That's, that's it. That's it.